Well, drug-resistant superbugs are taking more lives each year. The World Health Organization says global action is needed. Just last week, the Food and Drug Administration issued a warning about potentially serious side effects from what's known as a Z-Pack. Dr. Zorba Pastor joins us from his clinic in Oregon to talk about this. Hi, Zorba. Hi, Zorba. Hi, glad to be here. So what is the concern uh, about Zithromax? Let's start there. Well, the FDA issued a warning that Zithromax, which is one of the most commonly used antibiotics, uh, has a phenomena where it may cause a cardiac arrhythmia. That's where the heart doesn't function exactly right, the rhythm gets disturbed, and may actually lead to sudden death. Now, they didn't put a black box warning. When they put a black box warning on it, it means it's a very serious warning. Physicians should think twice before prescribing the drug. But they did put out a warning that this drug has that potential. And there are a couple of other drugs in this class that we've known for years that have this potential. And so this is something that is certainly worrisome because doctors tend to overuse antibiotics, all of us. And there's a resistance building for a lot of these drugs. How serious is this? The resistance is very serious. There's something called MSRA, methicillin-resistant staph. Staph, when I first started practice, was always able to be killed by one uh, antibiotic called methicillin. And over a period of years, the bugs have become resistant to methicillin. There are other drugs that we actually use, but some of the drugs are very expensive, costing thousands of dollars a day in order to actually achieve cure. So when we look at overuse of drugs for staph, we use of overuse of drugs was safe for sinus infections and upper respiratory infections. And we look at what's happening on the TB front, it's a big issue and that's why WHO has come out and said, doctors, before you give antibiotics, think twice. Well, the, uh, the World Health Organization has actually come out with an action plan, as you said, and the UK and some of the other countries in the European Union have adopted that. Is, what are the chances that we will here in the United States? Well, the fact is, we doctors would actually, many, many doctors would do that. The problem is patients come into your office and say, Doc, you know, I've got a sinus infection, and it's the worst infection that I've ever had. And I may say, you know what, chances are this is a viral infection. And they'll go, well, it's a viral infection, but I'm getting on the plane, and I'm going to Orlando tomorrow. And so part of it is from the patient side insisting on antibiotics. And the other part may be on the physician side saying, you know, the antibiotic is not going to hurt you, so I think I'll give it to you, when in fact we know globally it does. So I think many doctors would definitely like to adopt these new recommendations. And the problem is we need to do it as a group. Uh, another topic, the American Academy of Neurology has issued guidelines about concussions, treating kids for concussions. Yes. What's new on this front? Yes. Uh, what's new on this front is we're taking concussions much more seriously. Just like the National Football League, just like boxing, just like a whole other uh, a number of, of sports, sports places are looking at, we've got to take concussions in a serious way, especially for our young teenagers who are out there hitting the soccer ball, playing in football. And the newer recommendations say helmets, especially in football, may not do what they were designed to do. There are fewer concussions, it appears, in rugby where there are no helmets than there are in football. Mm -hmm. So I think from a sports point of view, we've got to rethink this whole thing. Well, that's very timely advice now. With spring sports just getting ready to ramp up and parents thinking about that, it's good information. Thanks, Orba. Right. Very much. See you very next much. time. A Thank pleasure. Thanks, Orba. Good to see you.